Yo, what's going on my people? Today we're checking out a very interesting video. This is from Mob Entertainment, so better go ahead and check this out. This is 10 Lost Secrets in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, and I think this will be very interesting seeing that I'm pretty sure everybody's getting ready for Chapter 3. And this video looks very interesting to me, so we're about to go ahead and dive on in. If you guys do like videos like these and other analog horror or gameplays that I've done on the channel, go ahead, join the community. Please hit that like button, subscribe, I do greatly appreciate it, and let's dive on in. Let's do it. Guys, all links will be in the description. This is 10 Lost Secrets in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Let's get it. 13 minutes, so let's go. Hey I'm guys, it's Micah, and for Chapter 2's one year anniversary, I'm going to reveal to you 10 lost Ugh. secrets from Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. We'll be discovering everything from deleted scenes, lost locations, to over hmm. a dozen unused characters. Okay. Keep in mind, this list does contain major spoilers for Chapter 2, so if you haven't played it yet, Go play it, and then come Played back. it on the channel, You guys. have been warned. Before we start, I want to let you know we're doing a giveaway for 10 copies of Chapter 2. More information Yo, on how to win your free ready copy later in the video. Three. Now, without further ado... Chapter 3 gonna be crazy, bro. Okay. Number 1. Chapter 2's alternate opening. Poppy Playtime alternate fans opening? will remember that Chapter 2 opens with us exploring Elliot Ludwig's office, and eventually finding Poppy in a hidden room below. But Chapter 2 didn't always start this way. In a now deleted opening of the chapter, after freeing Poppy from her case, you wake up and are immediately greeted by the oh. sight of Poppy peeking out behind a door. The sequence continues with you following Poppy as she slinks throughout various hallways. Following Poppy then led you back outside to where Huggy Wuggy fell in chapter one. Okay, followed... why didn't they continue it off with this? Sorry for pausing guys, I know I don't normally pause, but this would have been a great start up. What? With a 10 minute parkour sequence down the catwalks and conveyor belts from chapter one, eventually leading to a power puzzle that activated an elevator. Oh, you power down puzzles. To the game station to meet your new foe, Mommy Longlegs. Now, you're probably wondering why this never ended up in the game. There were a few reasons this alternate intro was abandoned. The first reason was chasing Poppy was just turning out too funny. The sequence went through three major iterations, starting with you straight up chasing Poppy to follow her, but that oh. just ended up being way too funny. Version 2 was Poppy <laughs> peeking out behind doorways and walls, but that was almost even funnier. In the last version, okay. you see Poppy's shadow moving across the floor and walls. This version was definitely the creepiest iteration, and it's the one what? we ended up sticking with for quite a long time. But in the end, Dude, it was they abandoned for just that feeling one. a little too cheesy. The second reason what? was simple. It was too long. You went through a 10 minute parkour sequence and a wild goose chase without really learning or Just seeing anything get interesting. Get rid of the parkour section. Which leads section. us to the final reason for the scene's abandonment. Mommy Longlegs had no mention or build up. To fix these True. shortcomings, we completely redid the intro sequence. We first added Elliot Ludwig's office to the sequence so you had an interesting location to explore. We then changed following Poppy to Poppy talking to you to make her a relatable character instead of just a cheesy horror doll that you follow around. Then we added a scene forcing you to watch Poppy be kidnapped before your eyes to build up the threat of Mommy Longlegs. And finally, we had you jump down a slide rather than jump down catwalks for 10 minutes. In the end, these changes are why the alternate opening of Chapter 2 never saw the light. I wish they could have mixed the Number 2, Mommy Longlegs alternate intro scene. Mommy's intro scene was one of the hardest things to get right in Chapter 2. The scene went through multiple versions of dialogue and pacing. These alternate versions, while relatively similar to the final, had a few key differences. Here's the first alternate version. Oh. Hello down there. I wasn't expecting company. Always tells mommy when guests are on their way down. Didn't this time. Always tells. Why are they re Hold on, why are they redacting names? What? Also, I if I would have seen this in a real game, I probably would have made a joke. Shh. Oh, she's hanging from that web, bro. <laughs> Why she like she on a pole, it's bro? It's easy to get lost down here. Some have lost their way and never found it again. But mommy won't let that happen to you. Mommy always knows where you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they went with so, the first yeah, iteration. In this version of that the was scene, too... there were a few key elements missing from a storytelling standpoint. One, Mommy's introduction to the story didn't influence anything about your current objective. True. Two, the player had no reason to feel threatened by Mommy Longlegs because made she joke. had no prior buildup at the time. So we addressed some of these issues in version two. Makes sense. Why, oh my, hello down there. I think you lost this. It's you not animated, it's funny. No, 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 of course not. Though mommy assumes this is something you want back? 
Finding you two down here was surprising. Always tells mommy when guests are on their way down. Didn't this time. Always tells mommy. It's creepier. Mommy loves to play games. Do you like to play games? How about you play some games with mommy? Oh, you don't have to. Mommy can just keep little Miss Poppy if you don't want her. But mommy already knows you love to play. Oh. Some have lost their way and never found it again. But mommy won't let that happen to you. Mommy always knows where you are. <laughs> so this version addressed one Better. of the big issues. Mommy now kidnaps Poppy to give the player a motive to play mommy's games. But then we realize something. The player doesn't even need Poppy. Who cares if she's kidnapped? So mommy showing up still didn't affect your current objective. True. So here's what we did to solve it. We had Poppy be the only one who knows the train code, so now you need her to escape. We also right. added that scene where mommy comes out of nowhere and pulls Poppy down into the abyss. Problem solved. Now mommy steals your only way of escape, and watching mommy kidnap Poppy makes her introduction all the more threatening. True. Number three, the game station's lost designs. Fans will remember Ooh, okay. that the game station features a giant mural of Mommy Longlegs, a playground for the kids, and entrances to the station's three main games. But right. it didn't used to be this way. The original design of the game Ooh. station was absolutely massive, and featured a mural on the roof with a giant sun and moon Those illuminating were the, old the station. Designs? Although it looked jaw-dropping, there were two major issues. Uh -oh. It was unrealistically big and was completely empty. It didn't seem like it could have been a real functioning location for kids. The second version True. featured a new design for the sun and moon, and a lot more color in the room to make it more that inviting for the really kids who good. visit. However, it was still completely empty. So we went back to the drawing board, keeping in mind what a place like the game station would need to be a fully functional and realistic location. In the end, we shrunk the room, added a big playground for the kids to play in while they waited for their turn in the games, added structural supports for realism, catwalks for Playtime Co. employees to observe the things going on, and Makes of course, sense. added some classic These Playtime Co. style branding. Really Number four, Musical Memories Lost Design. Musical oh. Memory used to have a much different aesthetic than it currently does. In the original version- I kid you not guys, this part nearly gave me a freaking heart attack when we did this. When I played this on my playthrough, Genuinely gave me a heart the walls were completely covered in this TV was, screens of various freaky. sizes that would display the name of the button that you're supposed to press. And the buttons you press during the game used to be suspended by big mechanical arms. The reason this design was abandoned was fairly straightforward. The aesthetic was too high-tech looking for Playtime Co. The array of TVs and mechanical arms made the room feel closer to a spaceship than a toy factory. On top of that, we also mm. decided that we wanted to include an area where Mommy Longlegs could watch you play. And that just wasn't going to work in a curved room with a bunch of TVs. Makes sense. Number five, Cassie Cutie Pillar. Oh, Some of you may God, actually be aware this of this thing. one. Cassie Cutie Pillar was the original character that was going to be chasing you throughout the statue. Oh, that's what it she wasn't was a giant the... caterpillar with a pink snout, beady eyes, and two antenna. Cassie actually appeared in the official Chapter 2 trailer before she was scrapped. Though Cassie oh. was cute, we felt we had the opportunity to make the character more unique by creating an unholy combination of two different animals. So we went back to the drawing board. We spent a long time picking the right Good face Lord, for this man. new character, something that didn't feel too oh goofy my. for the statue section of the game. Eventually, Dude. we settled on the design that would become PJ Pugapillar. The Pugapillar this was one of the later changes we made terrifying. to Chapter 2, as we had already made a completely finished model of Cassie, complete with fur simulation and realistic eyeballs, oh, eyes. as well as various art of Cassie throughout the game having to be swapped with the new PJ art. Number oh. six, Daisy the Flower and seven other characters. This is okay. probably the most well-known one on the list. Very similar to Cassie Cutie Pillar, Daisy was the original character that was going to be lowering towards you during the musical memory game. Really? She was a flower marionette suspended on strings with a very unsettling face. Like Cassie, oh Daisy oh. also appeared briefly in the trailer for Chapter 2. Daisy was abandoned because we wanted a character with more theming, and a way to alert the player that death was getting closer and closer. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been a great idea. Normally how like, and I think that would be a cool like, you know, I wouldn't say easter egg character, but you know how like lots of games are borrowing from FNAF type stuff, right? And lots of games do that, you know, they borrow off of each other, that's how the industry works with art and everything. But like, a marionette ca character, that would be pretty freaking creepy, I'm not gonna lie, and that with the human eyes, that makes it even creepier. And this is where I'm surprised they didn't difficult. keep it. We went through seven completely oh, different God. character concepts for the musical memory toy. A monkey, a clown, a fox, a princess, a bluebird. Another bird, a ballerina, a ballerina bird, and a ballerina finally, bird. a bunny. 
We liked the bunny because he had great theming with his symbols and clothes, as well as his symbols serving as a great audio tool as you hear him descending upon you in musical memory. After a few slight Creepy. design tweaks and color variations, we Ooh, finally the got the Bunzo Bunny we all know today. Daisy the Flower wasn't completely absent from Chapter 2, however, as huh? we see various art and posters of her throughout the game, oh. as well as a full cardboard cutout with voice lines from Daisy. <laughs> Number 7, I must have missed Mommy that. Longlegs Alternate Designs. Mommy Longlegs went through dozens of designs before she became the noodly pink maniac we all know today. Oh god. Two of these scrap designs actually show up in Chapter 2 as old blueprints for Mommy oh. Longlegs. Her first design was a noodly plush doll with button eyes. It was cute, but that was the problem. The design wasn't it's, eerie enough. It wasn't scary A few enough. other things on top of that was she looked too young for her name to be Mommy. She didn't have True. enough resemblance to a spider for her long legs pun to make sense. And we wanted to try making her a plastic toy to make her feel more unique from Huggy Wuggy. For the next designs, we really tried to push the spider look, uh, as well as nah. make her appearance a bit more creepy. She did look like a spider now, but too much so, to the point where we didn't think it would be realistic for Playtime Co. to create a toy like her. Yeah. Another issue was this design didn't necessarily look like a toy at first glance it's either. Not scary, the next though. designs really tried to push the creep factor in the face, and reel back a bit on the spider elements. This design pass is also where we came up with the idea of Mommy having limbs that could stretch. Originally, her limbs were going to extend in the form of plastic tubes, similar to hmm. the way a lightsaber toy might extend. This design oh. was scrapped because of the challenge of making her limbs bend while also being made of extending plastic tubes. The variation True. of colors also made her design feel too sporadic and complex. To solve these problems, we came up with the concept of elastic plastic, a substance that Playtime co-created that can stretch like rubber but also retain its shape and position. We also simplified her color pattern and gave her a spherical waist similar oh to the spider. Oh my god! Pattern. Dude, you guys see this face? Hold up! Where does- where is this face at? Dude, that would have been crazy for a jump scare. Dude, we concepted what? a few alternate designs after this one with more spider-like features. However, the problem from before still persists. Dude, look at that one, dude. We should have got that. that I'm sorry for spider-like and creepy for Playtime Co. to have realistic. Oh my god. Number eight, the six lost toys. From the six beginning of chapter two, toys. we knew we wanted to have new toys present in each of the games in the game station. These okay. became Bunzo Bunny, the Mini Huggies, and oh, PJ Pugabilly. Oh but god. Before those dude. were made, we had six different potential characters created to fill these roles. Jolly Clown, who oh, went through no. a few design iterations. Love Bug, who actually appears in chapter two as a rejected toy. Psy Dog, a <laughs> A robot dog toy, Sunny Buddy, okay. who also appears as a rejected toy, Lily the Frog, a frog on roller skates, and Monster Truck. That one kind of speaks for itself. Wait, what? <laughs> Number 9, the quality control room and the production room. In Chapter 2, before entering musical memory, we take a detour to the molding room where you create the green electric can. Oh. In an early version of the chapter, every game you go to was going to be paired with a factory room similar to the molding room. Wackawuggy had the production room, and statues had the quality control room. These rooms were never implemented into the game and were scrapped during the concept phase because they just seemed like unnecessary filler. Number 10, okay. Mommy Longlegs Death Scene. One of Chapter 2's most this. infamous moments is the death of Mommy Longlegs. Right. After minutes of running away from Mommy, you're backed into a corner with no way out. But just as all hope seems lost, you pull down a lever that activates a grinder. Mommy's arm is pulled into the grinder and she desperately tries to escape, screaming for her life as she's slowly crushed to death. Now, you yep. wouldn't think it, but there was actually quite a bit of debate behind the scenes about how Mommy should be pulled into the grinder. In the alternate version of Mommy's death, her, her head, head is actually pulled inside and grinded oh. to a pulp, leaving her lifeless lower half to fall onto the floor. Here it is. The sound effect. We decided to scrap this version for two reasons. One, the imagery of Mommy's upper half being dragged away would be more resonant than her lower half being dragged away. True. And two, Mommy's head being grinded up might have just been too gruesome to show without the game getting an <laughs> that M. That would be some Mortal Kombat so, stuff, bro. That was good, man. Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. And in honor of Chapter 2's anniversary, we're doing a giveaway for 10 free copies of Chapter 2 on Steam. Click the link in the description below if you want to enter. Chapter 2 is also on a huge sale. Yo, I'll definitely say for sure, uh, Mob Games or Mob Entertainment, you guys, uh, I hope Chapter 3 comes out soon and with a very clean launch. Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 had a pretty, it was a messed up uh, release. 
and to where I had problems like playing the game to where I had to play like a uh, like an underdeveloped version I mean we're not gonna talk about it but regardless this was pretty freaking cool I really did enjoy this and on top of that it's a lot of stuff I didn't know on one thing which is the intro of the game right I wish they could have took half and half of the original one that they decided to do with the shadow of um like like the shadow chase of uh poppy right have instead of doing parkour you eventually meet up with her like her luring you to a certain room then she starts talking to you and then she gets dragged down by mommy Lovely Mix. that's just my idea this is cool nonetheless i enjoyed this and also gives me uh you know some good vibes hopefully poppy playtime chapter three will be freaking fire like the other two but besides that guys thank you all so much for watching we really appreciate that and this very interesting reaction video we need to take a deep dive on more analysis videos too based on things we actually took a deep dive on and we never really bothered to look at these before so yeah besides that guys hope you're if you're new hit that sub button too do greatly appreciate when i wrote to 30,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much and i'll see you all in the next one